So, as we all know, John Marston, aka this badass right here, the leading protagonist of the 2010 Rockstar Games title, Red Dead Redemption, has been under the spotlight, especially in 2020, as a centre of petitions, virtual protests, and even his own website, since the release of Rockstar's 2018 prequel, Red Dead Redemption 2. I guarantee, if you go to Rockstar's Twitter, go into one of their recent tweets, somewhere in the thread will be at least one person petitioning for the JM they so dearly know and love. Why, you may ask. Well, let's try to sum it up in 10 minutes. John's iconic bounty hunter look was revived in the epilogue of Red Dead Redemption 2, and the day one patch, it was somewhat accurate. Barry's slightly inaccurate vest, wrong shirt type, wrong holster, and well, you get the point. His 1.0 model, however, was actually pretty playable, as seen here, he looks quite presentable and actually resembles John. His face is 100% accurate in our areas of his textures, but it was, however, the closest match to Red Dead Redemption and NPC Master that we had at the time. In 1.0, just to note, John also had a darker moustache, which has been bleached in later patches, and the texture of his facial area at different lengths has also changed from 1.0 to now. The reason for Rockstar doing this? Well, your guess is just as good as mine. In subsequent patches, John's look has deteriorated and been further deformed by Rockstar for some unexplained reason. Take the trash bag gloves, dumpster holster, and disco pants for example. Credit to the Real Bandicoot for the great comparison picks. Just to throw John's belt into the mix, for another bizarre reason, Rockstar swapped the position of his belt buckle to the other side for John's epilogue counterpart, and the position at which the holster actually hangs on the belt was also changed and it makes zero sense. NPC John in the mission bank in the old American R is seen sporting Rockstar's new take on his Red Dead Redemption holster and it actually hangs correctly and the belt buckle is actually in the correct position on the actual belt. Now back in the early 1900s there were no leg days, no other Instagram gym pics or rip guys with six packs dominating our Instagram and Snapchat feeds. They were just extremely experienced body surgeons who could transplant your head onto the body of your dead friend. Right? Each patch of the game has seemed to alter John's model and texture to give him not only Arthur's fitting clothes, but a morph of Arthur's head shape, chest, legs and shoulders. This makes John look increasingly off no matter how accurate you may attempt to make him look in game. His eyes are also scarily empty, it's like he's had all life just drained out of them, it's almost as if the more you look into them, the more distorted and eerie they actually get. This however wasn't present in the day one patch, yet again his eyes actually looked human and like John's. Now there was a blip in one of the early patches which resulted in John looking like this. One of the biggest factors which I have yet to mention and one which you are definitely already aware of is Marston's hair and the ability of it to not only change in style but also texture and colour. Of course this is the John we're so used to seeing, pictured here in Red Dead Redemption and again as his younger self in Red Dead Redemption 2. Yet by 1907 he seems to be sporting left parted black hair despite his hair actually being brown and right parted which grows to be a length 7 with bangs, which just makes him look like an ogre, to be honest. But he's a white man who's trying to conceal his identity, right? Of course, the correct hair for JM should be his iconic dark brown, greasy and stringy hair that is so iconic to the 2010 version of the Outlaw. This, however, has never been implemented in game by Rockstar, yet has been achieved via mods. It wasn't quite successful as it doesn't look 100% with all the other inaccuracies in game, nor is it the correct colour. However, we should be grateful as this is the most Mr. Jedi Josh has ever given us in terms of mod content. Moving on, if a player was to give John sweat back pomaded hair, it is actually the correct colour and this is the only style in game where he's playable with brown hair. No other style give this effect when pomaded. Now NPCs, especially members of the Delobal gang, can be seen walking and riding around with John's hair in the world, so... In reality, there's just no excuse. Now, one of the worst parts is in the early promo shots of the game, John looks amazing. Literally, none of these issues are present, and it just makes you wonder why they actually changed anything upon release. Aside from everything physically wrong with John, many of his animations are off. For some reason, although there are files in game of Rob's puking voice and animations, found by myself. <laughs> Rockstar never actually assigned these to John, and instead, should the player trigger the puker animations for him, it will be exactly the same as Arthur's. John also has Arthur's animations when walking through camp, aka Beach's Hope, or where running is prohibited, say in the saloon for example. Now you know when you see a baby taste a lemon and the face goes all sort of weird, they're just trying to process exactly what it is they've just taken into their mouths. It seems that John has this exact issue with something in the air in 1907. Most attempts to get Hearthy from the picture of him simply fail because he has the most awful idle facial animations. He can be seen crunching his face up, clenching his fists, having his mouth open for Arthur's... what? When aiming, unlike Arthur, John doesn't actually look in the direction of where he's shooting, unless he is physically moving. Now honestly, saying these out loud is pretty embarrassing for a game which is so focused on realism, see horseballs in cold climates. Anyway, I'll leave it at that for now. There's obviously a lot more to gloss over than this, and I could be here all day going into the nitty gritty details, 
But that is just a quick rundown of Red Dead Redemption 2's John Marston. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon, and go buy some gold bars.